Oh my god, you couldn't hear me. I had myself on mute. Oh my god. All right, so going back to the story. Oh man, hey, thanks for letting me know. So, oh no, I had myself on mute. All right, so I'm gonna try to go back to this. So, oh no, I'm just gonna say, I feel like there's a lot of people out there. Thank you, I had myself on mute. Um, a lot of people in this world, celebrities especially, that anytime I feel, and you might disagree with me, you could disagree with me if you want to, but I just feel like there's so many people out there in the celeb world, uh, the regular world, um, that I feel personally, if you want to get plastic surgery done, especially to your face, and you don't really, there's no valid reason to it. Like if you say you want to get a nose job and you really have a hard time breathing, I'd be like, all right, fine. But um, but if you don't have a problem with your nose, you don't need a nose job. Like, I feel like if you want to get plastic surgery done to your face, especially you have self-esteem issues and that requires therapy. Like you need to get therapy. Therapy. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> no offense. But like, I don't know. Like I look at people like, like, like I went from this woman, Lori Hill's video on Kylie Jenner, like her newest video about Kylie Jenner. And I look at Kylie Jenner and I responded to the comments and don't get me wrong, but I commented how like people like Kylie Jenner and Kris Jenner, they are ashamed of being Caucasian because they're not Armenian and they paid money to look like, what's her name? Kim Kardashian, who also paid money to look more ethnically different physically like body wise and face wise, like I feel like they're wasting their money where they can buy like another house <laughs> or another like they could buy like the most expensive car in the world. Like I can understand that. Go on vacations, but why do you waste money when you're beautiful to begin with? I don't understand. So I had to stop watching the video and I commented in the comment section, like what's wrong with being Caucasian? Like Chris. And Kylie paid, and even like the other ones in the family, they paid to look more like Robert Kardashian. And Kylie's not even related to Robert Kardashian. Chris Jenner has no any of that, none of that in her body naturally. Sorry, I have an itch. Like I just don't understand. Like I really don't get it. Like they should go for you should it should be mandated that you need to go for therapy before you have work done if you really don't need it. If it's just like a self-esteem problem. And like, I'll be honest with you. And the thing I was getting into before, I'm just trying to do a quick thing before I get ready for work. Cause I have to be at work now at 25 minutes. I work from home. So I have my headset on. Cause I was setting up my setup. And then I was like, I really have to call on here. Then I went on to Instagram and I went and I looked through my feed and I see Darcy Silva from 90 Fiance promoting her new season with her sister, Stacy for the Darcy and Stacy show. And they had new work done. And I commented on that too. And this all sparked this idea for me just to so do a rather quick live right now before I have to get to work, <laughs> which is like right here anyway. Um, so I'm just like, I commented about, I commented her there too and uh, commented on that com on her post or she's post saying like how you do look beautiful, but you were beautiful naturally to begin with too. Like another piece. P other people that are aesthetically attractive to begin with. And like, I look at people like beauty to me is also, in, it's from the within, it's from within as well as on the outside. And it's something like my monitor. I'm like really OCD about stuff like that. But anywho, so um, I just find that like, it's just a waste of money. Buy a, I don't know, the most expensive car, go on vacation, buy another home, like do something like that. Save your money. If you want to buy more beautiful clothes, your hair, okay, whatever. Like, I just don't get it. And it's like, I just find it to be like, you need therapy before you go out and do that. There's plenty like of celebrities and regular people. I just don't, I don't understand. You're wasting your money. And I know from personal, personal things that I was about to get into before um, this person told me, thank you, that they couldn't hear me because <laughs> I had muted myself on my little thing, my headset. And I didn't, because I was thinking about work, I always mute myself. I try to mute myself in between when I don't need to be heard. Um, but I do need to be heard for this. So um, my dad, truth be told, so I take after my father. I get, I, he's not, I don't have living parents anymore, unfortunately. It makes me sad, but I try not to think about it too much. So I, my fat gravitates to my back. I have a decent amount of back fat. I gain, I'm, I'm very heavy. Like I have long, long arms, 
long legs. I'm five eight ish, five nine. I have a very long torso, and my weight, as you can tell by my chest, excuse me, gravitates in this area. So from here to like my thighs, my legs, that's where my fat likes to sit. And I have like about what I'd say 20 pounds worth of fat on my back. So when I was younger, my dad used to be, he was not nice to me. A lot of times I love him because he's my father and we did have some great memories. But some of the things that he, one of the things he was very critical and not nice about was he would tell me even as like a young, in my youth, that he wanted to surgically remove my fat from my back to my chest. But I did not do that. But when I got older and I graduated from high school, I was 17. And my grandma promised me that if I lose weight, because I went on Atkins that spring of my senior year of high school, because my ex-stepfather, who was a piece of crap, um, was on Atkins and I'm very competitive and I wanted to lose weight. I was just tired of my body. So I'm like, all right, let me go on this diet too. And I lost a good amount of weight. I was thin after that by the summer. My grandma promised me if I lose weight and I maintain it, my target goal and I maintain it for a while, she'll pay for me to have my back fat removed. So I did. And I had lipo to my back fat and they removed a little bit off my side here. And so now I had gained weight. And guess what? It went back to my back amongst other places. And at that point in my youth, when I was 17, um, I was pretty much at the point where there was nothing I could do exercise wise to get rid of that fat. You know, I was pretty active at that point, no matter how much I did. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Um, I'm hearing the comments. You know, it's like, I hate it. I do hate it. And I am self-conscious about it, but I'm at the point in my life where like, I want to continue to like, I'm in the process of losing weight. It's kind of slow between like the medications I have to take normally, um, digestive issues. So I, I take Imodium, but I've been trying not to do that. So like, I have to change my, I change my, the weight, like the things that I eat at times of days and stuff like that. So that I don't have to, like, it's gross, but like, so I don't have to have an upset stomach all the time. Like, I have to change the way I eat, certain things that I eat, try not to have as much, spice. like, if I'm going to eat spicy foods, limit it to nighttime, because by the nighttime, it, my body doesn't care anyway. Like, it's pretty happy at that time of day. But earlier in the day, I can't eat spicy food or too spicy foods. Um, I can't drink certain liquors because it bothers me. So, like, I try to keep, you know, my body in check, which has been happy lately, but like, but no matter what I do to lose weight, this is still going to be here. It may be less. I don't want to have to lose. I don't want to be like 130 pounds. Like I was when I was 17. I don't think that's necessary necessarily, but like if I get down to 160, 170, I'd be happy. I'm like in the 180 range to be honest, but like, I don't think I'm that bad at this time, you know, like, I'm not, like, what I consider to be obese, but even if I was, like, I don't know, like, I noticed looking at people that I know, and, like, other people, like, I have a friend who just got married, she's pl a plus-size bride, she was a plus-size bride, and I feel like in 2021, most people are more comfortable in their skin, and I'm finding to be that way, too, I'm not, like, 100%, like, I'm saying, like, I hate my back, <laughs> Yeah, see, I'm not alone, but like I have to be more comfortable, and like my family can be very critical. Like, certainly, my family is very critical about my weight, but you know what? It's not your body, it's mine, and I have to live with it. And it would be nice to be thinner, but like, I don't want to lose my, my, my chest. <laughs> People pay to have a chest. <laughs> I didn't have to do that, but I know when I'm thin, I still have one. I'm like a BC at my thinnest. Um, but you know, like, again, I feel like there's people out there with like major, like facial skin problems. If you want to start a, like, I kind of feel like not to be like mean, but we should start a fund for, and the rich people, instead of paying money to fix their beautiful selves, donate money to people. We should start a charity. Oh my God. Someone's going to steal my idea now and do that. Someone's going to start an idea for people like, you know, like they have the operation smiles for people with the cleft lip thing, the cleft thing. We should start a charity for people that are 
stereotypically generally unattractive physically like the worst looking person no offense like i try to look at the beauty and something i was also trying to say before i was muted when i was muted that there's people in this world that i mean i try to see the beauty in everybody but like from the inside and the outside and the combination of the two but like in all honesty there's people in this world that you would look at at the store or whatever and the majority of people and they probably realize it too they're not the most attractive person and if that makes them happier and more comfortable and more confident in their skins to do that then that's fine but like they probably don't have the money to fix it now i'm not saying everybody has to be beautiful in this world but like but things like that i would say yeah i agree but like but they might not have the money to do that and i feel bad <laughs> not to sound like i don't know i always sound really horrible right now but like i just honestly feel that way like you know I mean, it's very risky, too, health-wise. Like, you could die. Like, that's why I'm afraid to do certain things, because, like, you could die. Is it worth it? You know, there's a lot of risks involved in doing that. And it's just, like, I just don't understand why beautiful people have to get... Like, it's going to... It could come back. I don't know. And I'm like, I I don't even want to bother doing it again. Like, I thought about it. I'm like, I could pay to have it sucked out again, but... It's too much of a hassle. Oops. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with the after part with the stuff leaking and wrapping myself up again. And like, it's just, it's too much of a hassle. For me, it's not worth it. I'd rather just live with it. Or, I don't know. But like, I don't know. I can't stand it when people do that. I'm like, why do you do that? Uh, You need to have therapy. Like, the way that I was saying and comparing it to before was like, and I don't necessarily think it's necessary. But, like, how people, like, especially nowadays, it's more common where people change their gender uh, surgically and chemically and whatever they call it with, like, these injections and things and surgically. And for a while previously, I don't know what they do nowadays, but I know, like, 10 years ago or so, you had to have therapy in order to do that before you do the the surgeries and everything else in between. The whole process of transitioning to another gender they have, you had to go for for uh, therapy because the stigma at the time was there's something wrong with you if you want to change your gender. And I don't necessarily agree with that, but like I feel like especially when you want to have cosmetic surgery, if you don't need it, you should get therapy because you definitely have self-esteem issues. And if you still feel after you have your self-esteem, I want to show you something, issues after that, then okay, but you should see someone first. I have this scar here. This is the only place where I had plastic surgery, but... So it was to stitch this bite on my eye from when I was two, three years old when my aunt's dog bit me. Um, and I had this scar here that's smaller as I grew, you know, as I age, because that was like a long time ago, I'm 37 now. The only place here I had stitches. And like here too, somewhere, you might be able to see it. I don't know. Um, the dog bit my eye. Thankfully, he didn't take my eye with him. But um, yeah, to I had stitches. That's the only plastic surgery I ever had in my face. Stitches to correct it. Like to like stitches not to correct exactly, but like to stitch it to close up the skin that the dog had open when he bit my eye. But that's like the only place I ever had done on my face. But that was stitches to close an open wound. It wasn't I never had it corrected. It was really tra- uh, hard for me growing up because people used to ask me all the time as a child. I I got made fun of for it in school and stuff. That was one of the things I got made fun of for. Because of the scar on my face, people looked at me like I was whack. I don't know. It was really hard, hard for me growing up. That was one of the things I had a hard time growing up with. People making fun of me, asking me about it. And I hated people asking me about it. I hated it so much. Like, leave me alone. Don't bother me. But if you like what I said, and I got to go because I got to get my butt to work. Um, <laughs> I have some things to do before I do that. Um, if you like what I said, if you agree with me, you, or you, you know, at all, and if you like my chat, my video, um, please subscribe to my channel, please subscribe, seriously, subscribe. And if you haven't done it so already and you want to, please do. I don't know what you're holding, what's holding you back. Um, that's just how I feel. Now someone's going to see my idea and, tr- and start a charity for people that are, I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> like someone's going to do it. I'm sure they're going to do it. <laughs> all right so let me go i uh, will see you soon if you like 
please like this video if you like it. Uh, click the notification bell to be notified every time I post a video. Um, also, please subscribe to my channel, Lulu's World. And I will see you soon. Check out my stuff in my description and my about me section, my social medias and my shops that no one's bought from besides myself. <laughs> and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for stopping by and thank you for your feedback. Miss nobody. Miscellaneous nobody. I guess. All right. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.